welcome back to tapasya youtube channel today our topic is ray diagrams for concave and convex okay previous classes we are completed okay what is pole what is radius of curvature what is uh, center of curvature what is uh, focus what is focal length okay all these topics we are completed in three classes okay now we are going to learn about okay, ray diagrams yes those who are watching first time my channel please like share and subscribe now come to the point now <clears throat> ray diagrams for concave and convex mirror yes first we will talk about concave mirror yes as you know earlier okay, it is a concave mirror yes we have to recognize here P pole from the pole one of the line which is moving that is the principal axis on the principal axis here uh, center of curvature here what will be the focus now okay, one point you have to remember here what is the distance between P to C and from the F to C also has to be same distance P to F F to C also has to be same distance okay this is way to write the okay the representation of pf and c now we are learning about ray diagrams how ray diagrams are acts now for r1 what is the rule for r1 we have r1 r2 r3 for concave mirror r1 r2 r3 for convex mirror now concave mirror r1 suppose it is one of the object like uh, candle is yes, from the candle the ray is moving see it is incident ray tell me how it is incident ray parallel to principal axis okay how after a met mirror which is moving from f incident ray parallel to principal axis reflected ray passing through focus that is r1 r1 means what incident ray parallel to principal axis reflected ray passing through focus incident ray incident ray parallel parallel to principal axis and reflected ray reflected ray passing through passing through passing through focus okay it is r1 now come to second rule for concave mirror r2 yes what is the rule for the r2 now it is a concave mirror okay, it is a principal axis now center of curvature focus how second ray is acts as the okay, second ray is acts as look at here incident ray passing through focus after met mirror which is getting what reflected incident ray passing through focus parallel to principal axis which is opposite to the first one Okay, I'm writing here incident ray incident ray passing through passing through focus and reflected ray reflected ray parallel parallel to principal axis okay which is opposite to the first one first one is what parallel to principal axis passing through focus it is passing through focus and parallel to principal axis okay that is r2 yes last one for concave mirror that is r3 okay what is the rule for the r3 now it is a concave mirror as you know it is a principal axis now here source of light or candle now 
इट इज पर्ल सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर एंड फोकस इफ रे इज पासिंग थ्रू सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर इट इज इंसिडेंट रे आफ्टर मेट द मिरर अगेन विच इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन सेम पॉथ when the ray is passing through the sea and also getting reflected on the sea incident ray passing through sea and reflected also moving on same path incident ray incident ray passing through passing through sea and reflected रे आल्सो मू इन सेम पाथ इट इज आर थ्री के दिस थ्री आर आर वन आर टू आर थ्री फॉर कॉन केव मिरर यस इट इज अ पैरल टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस पासिंग थ्रू फोकस पासिंग थ्रू फोकस पैरल टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस पासिंग थ्रू सी एंड moving in the same path okay this is about concave mirror ray diagrams now ray diagrams for convex mirror okay by the ray diagrams yes we have to know about the formation of image now let us discuss about convex mirror ray diagrams for convex mirror now look at here okay this is convex mirror as you know it is a pole from the pole principal axis is passing now here incident ray how it is looks like parallel to principal axis it is convex mirror okay that's why it is your getting reflected converge or diverge okay rays are diverge in concave rays are converge now ray after met the mirror it is going to be what diverge now if you extend c reflected ray extend it is appeared to move from the focus which is move appeared from the c right now incident ray reflected ray middle one draw is line it is meet on the c now observe the r1 it is a r1 what information r1 will gives now see here incident ray parallel to principal axis reflected ray passing through focus okay same as in the concave mirror but in that converge in this also what diverge okay it is r1 rule now r2 rule for convex mirror now it is r2 as you know it is the principal axis here pole here focus here center of curvature now ray which is passing through focus after met the mirror which is getting what reflected incident ray is extend this to extend incident ray passing through focus and also reflected ray parallel to principal axis okay this is r2 same as in concave mirror also but there is a converge here diverge ray is what diverge now r3 okay rule for r3 now it is con vex mirror as you know it is a principal axis right okay center of curvature focus and pole if any ray which is passing through center of curvature after met there is no place to move inside okay that's why it is incident ray 
after met after met the mirror which is getting what reflection which is appeared come to from the center of curvature which is appeared to come from the center of curvature okay these are r3 r1 parallel to principal axis and passing through focus passing through focus parallel to principal axis as passing through center of curvature and moving in what same path okay these are uh, ray diagrams for the convex mirror as by using concave and convex ray diagrams we can find image